Welcome to my kitchen. Fall is in the air and it's time to get out the holiday recipes. Today I want to share with you a family favorite that's both healthy and delicious. It has no traditional sugar and is made with tofu. Don't tell your family the ingredients. They'll be sure to ask for seconds. It's my holiday pumpkin pie with maple whipped cream. Let's get started. I just love cooking at the holidays, especially now that my girls are in college. As I prepare these dishes, I'm reminded they're coming home soon. And I think of all the wonderful holidays we've had, all the times their little fingers poked in the batter as they helped me in the kitchen. I tell you, they absolutely love this recipe. For the crust, I'm using a prepared graham cracker crust I buy at the health food store. It has no sugar and is made with whole graham flour. Flour. Be sure you place it on a baking sheet like I have here, as they tend to burn if put directly in the oven. This is just too thin. I used to object to these foil pans because they're not so pretty. But we spend so much time in the kitchen as it is, I'd rather spend time with my family. I serve my desserts from the kitchen anyway, so the pan isn't seen on the table. You can make this with the traditional crust if you want, but trust me, once you make it like this, you'll be the hit every holiday season. I have the oven preheated to 400, so let's make the filling. We're going to start by blending one and a half packages Mori New Silken Tofu. It comes in a box just like this. You just cut it open, drain it on a paper towel for about five minutes because it's packed in water. Sometimes it's in the produce section, sometimes it's in the health food section. Just ask your grocer. I'm seeing it much more widely available. I'm using the extra firm today, too, because I like the substance it gives. You can use the firm if you like, if you want it creamier. Okay, let's get this put in here. We've got one and a half blocks. The tofu cuts down on cholesterol in the dish and is a great source of protein. Tofu actually takes on the flavors of the other things, the other ingredients in your dish, so you can't really taste it. When this is blended, we'll get to our other ingredients. This is going to be a little bit noisy, so bear with me for just a moment here. Okay, here we go. We're just going to pulse this down. You're going to want to make sure that you blend it really well or you'll have little lumps in your pie. There, it's getting much creamier, you can see. Now that last few seconds really made a good bit of difference, but I see a little more, so we'll just pulse it. There we go. Now we're going to add two cups canned pumpkin. That's actually one of the smaller cans. I have some cans over here I wanted to show you. I got these at the health food store as well. Now you can get organic pumpkin canned. That really saves time on cooking. So let's just get our pumpkin, just dump it in your food processor. You could do this in a blender, but a food processor grinds it better, is what I find. So we'll get this pumpkin all in there, and a teaspoon of our vanilla. Okay, get the lid back on. And here we go again. Once I get that kind of creamy, then I'm going to actually add my maple, my maple syrup here. I like maple syrup. It smells so good, doesn't it? Okay. Back goes the lid. Now it's really going to go, isn't it? You may want to stop partway through and scrape the sides down. I think that's what we'll do just to get the edges in here good. And one more time. Great, the maple syrup, though sweet, actually metabolizes slower than sugar, so you don't get that sugar rush of traditional desserts. Now for the spices, this is the part that makes it smell and taste so good. We've got cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and cloves. You could use the pumpkin pie spice that you find in the grocery store, but I like adjusting my own according to my own taste, so that's why I like to add my own. Now we're just going to blend that one more time until it's nice and creamy. Now I see it really coming together. Takes a minute, doesn't it? 
There we go. You really have to mix this really good or you'll get those little lumps in your pie. You don't want that. So you've got to really mix it up good. I'm going to stir this down one more time because I see some more tofu in there and I don't want lumps in this pie for you. Just one more little whirl and we'll call it a day. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That did it good. Okay, now we're going to put that in our pan and get it in the oven for about an hour. Let's get this off of here. Sometimes it can stick. Okay, we'll take this over here. Now when you make this dish, this will fill a 9 inch pie plate or one of these prepareds can be a little bit smaller, but you want to fill it really nice and full. So get it near the top as you can and just kind of smooth it out like custard and it's beautiful when it bakes. There we go. How pretty. Okay, now we're going to get this in the oven. Here we go. It's really fun. I've got this at 400 for about an hour. And now I've got a finished one that I want to serve for you. Oh, it's piping hot and so beautiful. Mm-mm-mm, this is going to be good. And since I always make this at least the day before, I want to serve it warm. So I'm going to actually heat it at about 300 for about 30 minutes while we're eating. Now, let's get my knife out here. Oh, I can't wait to serve this up for you. It's just beautiful. Now, you know how these prepared pans can be a little bit tricky. Don't worry if the crust breaks. It doesn't matter. It's a graham cracker crust and it's supposed to be a little bit sliding and who cares? It's delicious anyway. I've never had anyone fuss because the crust broke. Beautiful. Look at that. And out it comes. So pretty. Now, I've got to tell you the way you want to do this. You've got to make this maple whipped cream. To make it, you just take a cup of heavy whipping cream and you're going to whisk in a little maple syrup and a little vanilla. I've already made mine, but I wanted to get some maple syrup in there for you. Take that and just whisk it up. Oh, it's just delicious until it's nice and fluffy. Just like that. And then when you get your nice peaks, can you see that? How beautiful that is? It's so good. So we'll take this, put a piece on it. Mmm, how pretty. Grandpa Leonard just loved it. It reminds me of him. Serve that with coffee or tea and you'll have a fantastic healthy dessert you can feel good about. It's truly irresistible. I just have to have a bite. Oh my, Thanksgiving's almost here. The girls are going to be home. Mmm. You've got to make this one. Mmm. I have to have another one. That wasn't big enough. Mmm, mmm, mmm. For this recipe, go to my website at healthycookingwithcindy.com. Print it off. Enjoy. Stay tuned. We'll be right back for more of your health.